had somebody ask me about growing in caterpillar tunnels. They're thinking about buying one, so um, I'll go through and tell you what I think about them and pros and cons and where we got them, how hard it is to put up and all that stuff. So um, I'm in one right now. This is from Farmer's Friend LLC in uh, Tennessee. And uh, we met the owner of the business at um, Rose Creek Farms at a class. And cool guy. So we have two of these. The other one's through here. And we grew in them all winter. We're in North Carolina, so that's doable. So yeah, these were, um, this is all lettuce now for um, a restaurant and some other places. But I had arugula, turnips, um, radishes, you know, all types of stuff in here. You can grow all types of crops in these tunnels. They're pretty easy to set up. Um, it's these posts here. You screw them together, there. So, you know, that's no hardcore crazy special tools needed just to drill. They're held stable with uh, rebar, big rebar. Our beds are all the same size. Everything that we do is all 100 foot beds. And so this is a 100 foot tunnel, 100 foot tunnel, 100 foot bed. So you can go to the end and measure out every five feet, pound the, um, stake in and then put your hoops on and then after that you have your structure really that's it and then you put this strap up here that goes across everything um, I just looped it once there and then it comes to the end here comes down And that's tied off the T post. I'll show you that real quick. So your plastic wraps around your hoops and goes through these T posts. And I just wrap the extra around because it looks nicer. But yeah, you just tighten it and tie it off. Alright, now you can see the difference in how much tighter that is. Farmer's Friend makes a ton of uh, additions, like a straight, like a, another metal piece instead of that strap, you know, for really windy areas. Um, you can get wiggle wire to go on the end so that you don't have to do the T-posts. And there's different kinds of tunnels, like if you live where it snows, they have a gothic tunnel, so it's pointed at the top. Um, they're, they're all easy to set up. Um, what keeps the plastic on is these uh, strings. So you got the rope here, and it goes up and over throughout the whole tunnel. There's instructions when you buy it. But you can see there, I put one of these up by myself. It wasn't that hard, just time. I'm six feet tall and I can move the hoops by myself. Set one in, set one end down in the uh, rebar and then put the other one in and put the plastic up. It's way easier with two people. They have an instructional video on that. So in the winter time, you can grow spinach, arugula, salad greens, root crops. You can grow all types of stuff in these tunnels. And in the summertime, I'm switching this over to tomatoes right now. Um, this keeps the rain off the tomatoes. And also, um, I'll be doing a video on the tomatoes. You can um, come here and tie up the same white string that's on the end, this, and take this, take this down the whole bed over the tomatoes, and then 
set up your trellising system. Uh, it works. It gets a little bunched up at the top when you know towards the end of the season, but um, you work with what you got. And yeah, these tunnels I think are a thousand dollars about. Well worth the money. So the pros of the tunnel are definitely season extension. That's what they're made for. Here in our climate, we can grow all year in them. Um, you could take this plastic off and put a shade tarp on it if you wanted. They're easy to put up, they're easy to move, they look cool. The cons, I guess, uh, let's see. If you have the end like that and you don't have the wiggle wire, you have to um, tighten the plastic a good bit. You know, if it's really windy, it'll blow the plastic. Sometimes the whole plastic will shift to one side or the other. Um, the strings, when they get wet, they stretch out, so you have to tighten it. Like, I think we've tightened these four or five times since I put them up in October. You can irrigate in here too, that's nice. That You know, a con is that the rain can't hit the soil, but that's actually somewhat of a pro too, especially with tomatoes, because you don't want the rain on the foliage. And yeah, I'm using it also as a nursery. So yeah, you can start seeds in here in the winter. Um, you can hang out in here in the winter, it's warm. Yeah, other than worrying about them during thunderstorms, there's really not a whole, you know, I don't really know what else you would do other than get a high tunnel. To me, this is your best option for season extension and just getting stuff going, you know, this, they're cool. Yeah, so I'm six feet tall, you can see about how high they are. 100 feet long, 14 feet wide. I stretch these out. It's more like 15, maybe 16 feet wide because our beds or walkways are 18 inches. Beds are 30 inches, so that makes it four foot center to center. And they fit right in. If there's any other questions about growing in these tunnels, um, just leave a question in the comments. And there's an installation video from Farmer's Friend that shows it very well. And um, yeah. And I just realized that I have like a, my old work shirt on and a Bartlett tree hat. I'm not not advertising for them. I just am wearing an old work shirt and a free hat. <laughs> but the basics of it is this somewhat of a mobile tunnel. Easy for two people to move along from here to there. So you don't get pests and disease build up in your beds under the plastic. Uh, Yeah, thanks for watching.